who could have come back since then. No, Ibu not not yet. Um, Luis not yet. Um, but that's it, pretty much. It's the only news. Nothing, nothing happened on the injury side. So Jago not available. Calvin um, had surgery, um, not available. Uh, but that, that's it. Um, what were your thoughts on how Diogo came through on Monday night, getting time off the bench? Yeah, it was important to get the time, but obviously you could see they need time. Um, it was clear, but we, we knew that um, um, that would happen. So that's why we tried to give them as early as possible and allowed uh, some minutes because it's completely different. Whatever you do in the training pitch, these first 10, 15 minutes in an intense game, they feel like oh my God, it's torture. Um, and so you have to you have to go through this, and then but then it was not too long, so they could train come properly the next day. Um, and that's now obviously very helpful um, for, for for this week. Now one session today, and then we will see how we line up. Um, Seventeen games left to play. Obviously, there's a gap to, to the top four, but this is a, a big game, isn't it? Given you've got a game in hand, if you could get three points as well, suddenly the whole narrative. Comes out. Yeah, massive game. So if we want to reach something this season, we have to chase everybody. So and um, especially the teams. Um, and, um, Ahead of us in the table, there's no doubt about that. It's not easy, it will never be easy, but I think um, the only way you can do it is to give it a try, and that's what we have to do, of course. And um, But everybody knows that, we don't have to mention that, that's clear. Um, and so, top one Newcastle, best defense in the league. Lost only once, I heard now again, I didn't even know that. And that was against us, and we, we needed a, a late, late. Uh, Goal, uh, so obviously very, very consistent, which is the first step into success. Always, um, yeah, will be absolutely interesting. So, will be it's a tough place to go. Was always for us. Um, hopefully, we can uh, build on the performance for money because that was obviously the main difference to a lot of other to other games we won. After the World Cup break, we won two games, but we were not overly happy with uh, the way we played. So you cannot really build on it. Um, this time it was different. This was us, and it looked like us. And um, and I think people said after the game that Everton didn't do this or that as much as they did against Arsenal. I really think it was because we, we did um, particularly well, to be honest, in that game. But that's a point to prove again tomorrow. Final question from me. Um, at Newcastle, you said only lost once this season. In previous years, you've been on these terrific runs. How much respect do you have for what they've done? Absolutely. Oh, I just do an exceptional job. Absolutely exceptional. So, um, yes, we all spoke about that. And when you ask me about that again, um, it's like the, 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 the the financial possibilities that they have or will have in the future is exceptional, but it's uh, and so far it's not that it's because of that, not at all. So Eddie came there in a difficult situation. They they um, stayed comfortably in the in the league, stuff like this. Then um, and then the new season, it's not like a, you didn't recognize the team anymore from last year. It's like like a complete overhaul or whatever. So building on the team they had, improving players who were there, like Almiron. I always liked him, but um, with the the way he they are playing now, is obviously it fits him extremely well. Um, Callum is obviously a fantastic striker. I'm not sure if he's injured tomorrow or not, but it's fantastic. I bring in Isha makes absolutely sense. Um, so building building a team. Uh, Bruno Gimaresh, of course, is a is a massive is a massive player for them and all this kind of thing. But then a um, lot of loads of players. A Trippier came in, but the loads of lots of players are were still there. So and that speaks obviously volumes about the manager how how much they, he turned it there around and made them a proper threat for everybody and a super intense football style. Um, so in a difficult place, a difficult team to play against. Thank you. Welcome. Yeah, but were you expecting them to go about things a little differently in their recruitment rather than building relatively steadily? I mean, they have spent money, but they possibly haven't quite gone mad with it. No, I didn't really think about it. That's not that I think a lot about Newcastle. No, it's not like this. It's just um, in the moment you, you recognize what they are doing and then you, that's it. It's not, I had no idea for them how they should do it. <laughs> well, obviously, I mean, you work slightly differently. In, in terms of the way that you've had to build, I suppose. Sometimes <laughs> you, you have been able to spend the, the I, amounts of money, but it's been when you sold players on. How did I, what, what did I do different? In terms of, well, in terms of recruitment, you've kind of been able to sell players for a big amount of money and then been able to recruit in that way. 
which is yeah. obviously a different kind of model to the way Newcastle have done things so far. Yeah, but it's uh, the only difference is where the money is coming from. So that's the only difference. The rest is, uh, I think, for, apart from that, we did a similar way. If I'm, I'm not, not, don't know exactly, but it was not that we six players in, eight out, and now let's let's go again. I I I think you you have to do it step by step. But um, if you, somebody tells you, one of your bosses tells you, but we do it now by bringing in twelve players in once, and uh, we are, then you have to deal with that. So um, we have a lot of power in the manager, manager chair, but not. <laughs> not all the power, so that means we have to do as well sometimes what what um, other people are telling us, and that's normal. And is Virgil after being on the bench for the Merseyside derby is he fit to start? <sighs> I think so. Yeah. Um, just now, yesterday he looked absolutely ready. Um, I think today he will look the same, and then we make a decision. Carlos, hi again. Hi. Um, Stefan Bocetic, he's a good player. Played really well in the derby again. Played really well, such a young player. Um, when you have a look, young player like that, and you know you want to give a player a rest, how difficult is it to make that decision to take him out when you, he's played so well? And you've also got big game after big game coming up as well. Yeah, it's not that difficult to be honest. It's just we have, we have parameters. We know we can read numbers, stuff like this, and, and these kind of things. And then, but it's then all. Um, very individual, so it means all, even when they are, a lot of players are young, uh, they are still different. Um, so we have a close eye on that. We, 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 we judge that all the time if he's ready again. Um, so far, there were no signs that we had to rest him, but it was good for us because we were long, or for him, long breaks between the games. That's absolutely no problem. How it is with three games a week, um, I don't know. So we will have to see that, but we have other players as well. And um, it was not Stefan played exceptional, and not because he's 18 or only 18, he played just exceptional. So but that's actually the best thing to say. But um, it was for sure Fabinho's best game for a long, long time, and Hendo played exceptional. So that's um, just to talk about midfield. So that helps obviously. And Nabi before. Did not bad. We didn't win games and stuff like this, but that was not up to Nabi. We have other players um, who are um, ready to to go. So that's the first time that we have. We had a lot of players not involved in the squad for the first time. Senior players not involved in the squad for a long time. Um, so there are options now there, and long may it continue like yeah, that. Those options up from now with Diogo going back and Roberto going back and. You've not been able to make as many changes up front, have you, in recent times? So, how good is it to have those oh. options back as well? Oh, <laughs> that's massive. But again, um, Bobby was, in the end, it was eight weeks as well. So, that's long. It's a long time. And, and Yoga obviously was longer out. Um, so, we have to, make, to look now how we, can, how we can use them. But of course, now the amount of play games coming up. So, we hope uh, we can. Um, Go to the next round of Champions League as well, so it means we will have um, 17 in the league, um, but two more at least in the Champions League. Hopefully, four, six. What do we need for seven or whatever? If we want to go to the final, probably. Yeah. Um, so we would be ready for that. So these kind of, for that you need changes, and that was a big problem in the, in the past around when we started again. It was a massive problem because we started playing immediately, and there we had absolutely we couldn't change at all, and had to integrate a new player and. Darwin was not fit and blah 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 all these kind of things there were a lot of things but now hopefully it stays like this so that would be great because that's what you need to 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 get kind of consistency in performances Y luego, si eres consciente de que eres uno de los entrenadores más queridos y más populares en España. Muchas gracias. And now you need to ask it in English. In English? In English, yeah, cool. I, my, I don't speak Spanish. Somebody told you I speak Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone anyway, speak Spanish? Is about Stefan? And in Spain, club is very, very popular. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. I should have understood that. Yeah. So, what about what about Stefan? What do you think of Stefan? What oh, do you think? yeah. It's very important for Liverpool. It's very important. It's only um, 18. 18. In October. He turned 18 in October, in October. yeah.
So, just 18. So, um, yeah, top talent, super player, played really, 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 really good for us um, so far. Um, since he is with us, it's a pure joy to work with him. I think the mix of S Serbia and Spain is a, is a good one for football. Um, and I'm not sure you met him, but if you meet him, he's a top, he's an intelligent boy. How is that? A joy to work together. Um, the interesting part is that his dad and, and Thiago's dad played obviously together for Celta Vigo. So Thiago, not only Thiago, but Thiago as well took him a little bit under his wings. So he has a great bunch of players around him he can learn from. Um, and yeah, absolute, absolute joy to work with. I'm more popular and loving in Spain. Me? Yeah, that's the reason for that. It was the same when I was in Germany. Always, people told me I'm very famous in England until I arrived here. So, and that will be would be the same in Spain. If you know me closer, that um, you will realize it's not that good. Thank you. Oh, welcome. Ask Vinny <laughs> or other people. Not the open tape. Yeah, that's what I heard. Um, it's nothing. Uh, obviously, I missed the rest of the season. It's serious, but Calvin, it's 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 really special. So Calvin arrived here and um, had a back problem I never heard before. So it's just like when you're on the growing process, it can happen. But he played all the games, didn't really feel anything. Then we, you come here and you make a proper check, and then it's like, uh, okay, there is something. We need to need to have a brief, uh, a closer look, and then you have to. <laughs> so he had no real pain or whatever, but he but was not allowed to train for a long period, because otherwise you can, uh, for, a, for a young person who is still growing, it can create real problems for, for uh, in the long term. So it was no chance. Coming back into a new team, never. I asked him, when we spoke, when, when, when it uh, was clear that he has not now the, the new injury, I had him in my office and asked, what do you think, how often have you been your absolute best yourself, pretty much? And he said, oh, not often. I said, I say never, not one day. So now we have to use that because you couldn't. It's like if you want to adapt to a new thing, but you didn't train for four months, stuff like this. It's really tricky. So I always was this step behind. Now he has that injury this season, or even if he could come back a bit earlier, that makes no sense because now it's really to, to build a boy up physically and then have a new start when, when we go again. So we can play catch up all the time uh, with him because he's, not, he's a great talent, a real talent who had the most unlucky start possible. But in the end, when he finishes his career with 36, 30, 37 or whatever, then he can, when he, if he can say then, the most difficult year of my career was the first, yeah, or the second in his case maybe, yeah, that's absolutely okay. All the others were better because we made it, did the right things in the, in the first two. So that's what we try to do now with him. Last question is section to Kiva. Yeah, Fabio Carvalho obviously scored that late winner against Newcastle, and he hasn't played much. So, is there a reason for that? And I guess what have you made of his progress in his first season so far? Yeah, Fabio, very young player as well, and and, and big talent as well. Absolutely, absolutely played well for us in 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 a couple of games. Now it's the situation that uh, we have to make a squad, and he could make it for the last one. That's how it is. That's the truth. Um, didn't play too often because. Uh, from my point of view, we needed different skills when we when we started or when we when we changed during the games, and um, that's pretty much all. He did nothing wrong. He improved a lot. He, he developed a lot. He's a good kid, and he's um, in the middle of the group, in the middle of the team. So that's all fine. But obviously not in a happy place in the moment. You cannot I cannot see that on the pitch, or when I, when I see him, it's not really. Um, Obvious, but I can imagine because he's a he's a footballer. He wants to play, and he didn't play often enough, so that doesn't <coughs> help a lot. But that's a, another thing in a long career where you have what you have to go through. And yeah, for me, it looks in a moment that he he takes it as good as somehow possible. <laughs>